Welcome to the first ITE Tools You Can Use uh, webcast. I'm Greg McFarland, the ITE Webmaster. Today we're going to be talking about Mendeley, uh, which is a document referencing system. Um, so if you go to the Mendeley website, it's www.mendeley.com, it's time to change the way we do research, they say, and this is true. This has changed this little tool has changed my life. It's free and it can change yours too. Um, I'm going to sign in here. Sign into the website and we can look at it. So it's got sort of a social networking feel here. You can you know, be connected to people like I'm here I'm connected to Josie and Dr. Watkins. Um, I'm also connected with most of Dr. Garrow's students who are on it and this allows us to share papers with each other. Um, when you're doing research, you quickly realize that the number of citations and papers and things that you have to do uh, can quickly grow out of hand if you're not, uh, if you don't have some way to manage it. And Mendeley is the best way I found to do that. Say that I want to say that I'm looking here on the TRID database, and I want to save this document from Dr. Meyer. This is Climate Change and Transportation Engineering, Preparing for a Sustainable Future. Well, um, I can... Oh, Dr. Brent, Brent Weigel's on this too, I didn't know that. Well, I can download this little import to Mendeley uh, plugin for Chrome and for other browsers as well, and click on it, and it is now in my Mendeley library. So I can go to my Mendeley library. And there it is. Climate Change and Transportation Engineering Preparing for a Sustainable Future 2011. With all the journal information, you know, what page it's on, what volume it's from, everything you could want. I can confirm that it's right and go save. And now it's in my uh, library. And I have many documents in the library. Um, all, the, all the documents I've used for papers, uh, well, as long as I've been at Georgia Tech, are on here. The website's useful, but it's more useful as the desktop application. So we'll go ahead and minimize this and go to the desktop application. So here it is. Um, this desktop application will save the PDFs of things you've done. So if I I can open this PDF by Hirotoku uh, Akaike, I can read it. I can highlight it. Um, I can make notes. This could be useful. Um, I can do everything that I would expect to do with this. So it's really great for seeing which documents you have read and which ones you have not read. You can put them into folders, so papers related to uh, discrete choice modeling. Um, I can keep here. Uh, papers related to public transit, I can keep here. It even keeps a list of your publications, um, which could be useful for preparing CVs very quickly. Um, you can also create shared groups. So here are papers that I'm going to use for. Ah, this isn't a good example. Here are papers that uh, Stacy created, and we can share these documents together. Um, I can download uh, download one of these papers if it's interesting to me, so I don't have to take up lots of space on my machine. Uh, if you sync, then any changes. Um, any changes you make on any of your computers will be backed up. So if you look at recently added, here's climate change transportation engineering preparing for a sustainable future, that document that we did before. If you look at this, you can see that the authors are not there. It's very easy to add them. So um, Meyer, Michael D, and Brent. Brent, I'm sorry, I don't know your middle initial. We'll have to add this later. Um, 
you can keep information about the abstract, so it's very easy to see what what the papers are about when if you if you save the abstract, you can do that at least. Um, all anyway, right, you can see what's going on here. Um, so we have Dr. Meyer's paper in here. You can download the PDF and link it to it. Uh, we can make notes on the PDF. We can share it with other people. This is all very great for preparing your research. But the really great thing about Mendeley comes in when you start to write it up. If, let's say I have this document. Um, this is open office. The same things work in Microsoft Word. So let's say um, climate change and sustainability are becoming increasingly important in transportation planning and forecasting. Well, we want to attribute this. So we can go insert citation. Okay, we can look in here. Uh, we can look at any of these libraries. Go to Mendeley. Select that. Cite it. And there it is. That's right there. Now that's sort of useful. What's more useful is this. So when you get to the end, you have your bibliography. And you go insert bibliography. There it is. If you were to put more documents in here, the for important for statistical analysis. Attribute this. Can look, uh, okay, okay. Find it this way. And here it is. And your bibliography is updated automatically. Uh, you can choose your citation style. So here I'm using APA. If I wanted to use uh, CMS, use this style. Done. And things change. It's all updated. Um, sometimes it's better than others. You can there are things you can do to format it, but this will save you hours in your research and help make you a cleaner researcher.